Hey, how's it going? My name is Siebs, this is Soda, and this is our Slayer Drop Block Group Iron Man series. This is based on Vanica's Slayer Drop Block account, but we made a group Iron Man style. To put it simply, we can only use items that we obtain by killing Slayer monsters while on Slayer tasks. For the full list of rules and exceptions, feel free to pause the video now to read them. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and welcome to episode 4. So I had three main goals for this episode. I wanted to get equipment upgrades through myself, through my own tasks, and not through Soda. I wanted to get 43 prayers so I could unlock all the overheads. And then I also wanted to start building up some quest points so down the road I can eventually start blocking tasks. So at the end of episode 3, I ended up getting 37 prayer, which I unlocked Protect from Magic, which that allowed me to go to the Elder Chaos Druids and actually start killing those guys. Kicking off this episode with the Loransky. I'm still gonna wait till I get one more before I go to the actual chest. There's 50 strength. This was really the only guy I actually ever saw, and of course he had a few words to say. Dude. You're weppy sucky. So obviously that guy doesn't know a Giga Chad when he sees one. Anyway, next up I got a Zamorak Rogue Top, which was my first plus prayer item, so that was a huge drop. 45 hit points coming in. So I was at the Ferox Enclave, and I just thought I'd take a peek at the Death's Coffer to see if I had anything in there. And I had a couple bones and a little bit of cash, so I swooped that up. Not sure if this is intended, but... Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute! And Varrock for a heart glue from the Elder Chaos Druids, and got a Freaky Forster. So this is my first pair of Lederhausen. Gotta give a shout out to my boy UIM Herb 10 HP. Finished up Dollar Chaos Druids, then got a beginner clue from a spider's task, and Charlie gave me a task for mining an iron ore, so time to get 15 mining. Missed 5, but here's 10 mining. And finally, 15 mining. So the way I'm gonna try this is I'm gonna try and mine an iron ore, grab one from my bank, and see if I can give Charlie the one from my bank and drop the other one. So since I logged out, since I got the Charlie task, I have to read the clue again and then mine another ore, so I just dropped the other one. Alright, so drop the one I mined, and it looks like it works. Sweet. So this was actually done before Jagex made the change to allow players to give Charlie uh, items from anywhere. So anyway, here's the casket, and just some cook herring. So not the best, but you know, I guess it's food at the least. Here's 40 Slayer while on a bear's task. And then I got my first Eye of Newt, which I think I'm going to try and use for Witch's Potion whenever I get the onion. Soda got me some goodies, uh, mainly the 50 Pure S, so now I should be able to do uh, Priest and Peril once I complete Restless Ghost. So I got an Ice Giants task from Crystalia, and I'm going to do these in the Wilderness Slayer dungeon because these guys have some pretty good drops. They've got a lot of upgrades in the gear section, and they also drop all the blighted items. So I'm going to try and flinch these guys down and see what I get. First kill is Blighted Snares and an Uncut Ruby. I'm not going to record all of these, I'll just highlight the, the good drops in the future. Alright, here's our first upgrade, an Adamant Sword. That should be our best uh, slash weapon now. Not so much an upgrade, more of a just a nice to have, but uh, these super stores are really nice for when I'll try doing Wilderness Slayer bosses later on, especially after the rework. So, saving these for now for sure. There we go, there's a Mithrax, and that will be our new best in slot woodcutting axe. Here's some more items from Zoda. Um, the bowstring is just for making a bow. Uh, Addy Fulham is definitely an upgrade. And then the bones, copper wire, and logs I think are going to be used for skilling. So this was kind of a cool kill. I hit 42 Slayer, and then got my first Rape Cave Teleport all in one kill. Landed a new best in slot crush weapon with the Addy Mace. Upgraded my shield slot to the Adamant Kite Shield, and then scored the Mithril Plate Legs. Wanted to train defense a little bit, so here's 35 defense. In between runs, I checked my banked XP plugin on Runelite, and it said I had just enough for 43 prayer, so I thought I'd give it a shot and run some bones. Luckily wasn't PK'd so far, and here's 40 prayer, unlocking Protect from Range. And here we go, here's the big milestone, 43 prayer, all overheads unlocked. During my prayer grind, Soda hit 25 construction, which unlocks the tool store too. So a ton of these items are from that, which unlock a ton of quests and content. So this was a, a huge milestone for us as well. Back at Ice Giants, and now prayer flicking, got my first Loronsky from them. So here I am back at the Enclave after the Ice Giants task was complete, 
and here's the loot tab from all 115 kills and as you can see this was a great task and I was able to get duplicates of most of the gear upgrades so I was able to give a good amount of soda. So with the gear upgrades goal and the 43 prayer goal achieved I thought now would be a good time to start on the quest grind so let's jump right in. So started with Mistaloon Mystery, then the Restless Ghost, then X marks the spot which I put the lamp into Hunter, getting my Hunter up to level 4. Finished Client of Karind, and also put those lamps into Hunter, and the first lamp got me up to 8, and then the second lamp got my Hunter up to level 10. Next on the agenda was Rune Mysteries, unlocking rune crafting. Short intermission here to show a supply drop from Soda. So now I have an Oak Shortbow, a Rune Met Helm, which was an upgrade, a small fishing net, which I can start fishing with, and then some runes, which are going to be very handy later on for a quest. Speaking of, next on the agenda is Tree Gnome Village, which I'm going to try and kill the Khazar Warlord with magic in a safe spot. So fingers crossed I have enough runes to kill him in time. Alright, got him in the safe spot, so let's hope that these runes can do it. Alright, during the kill, got a couple levels and got magic up to level 10. And there we go, Khazar Warlord killed, easy peasy. So let's go finish the quest. Tree Gnome Village complete, which got my attack actually up to 47, so got a couple levels. Monk's friend was next, so let's party. Man, those monks sure can dance. Alright, last Monk's Friend complete. So up next was Hazel Colt, which I wanted to side with Cyril because if I do this right, I can get the armor, which will actually be an upgrade for me. Alright, sweet. So there's an upgrade from my chest slot over the hard leather body. And there's Hazel Colt complete, and that got my thieving to level 11. Oh yeah, you know what it is. It's the dreaded sheep herder. So for this one, if a sheep gets stuck in this corner, then it's permanently stuck there, so you just hop worlds if it happens. Oh, thank god, it's finally done. Accidentally missed the ending credits, but um, here you can see I completed sheep herder. Soda needed some coins for construction, and I needed a short bow, so I thought this was a fair trade. So I was out doing the Dwarf Cannon quest, and thought I'd stop at Barbarian Assault to unlock the minigame teleport. Alright, tutorial complete, and teleport unlock. And then there's dwarf cannon complete. I think eventually I'll end up getting a cannon, but I'm not going to have one of those for a while. Anyway, got crafting up to level 10. And back to our done with the completion of clock tower. Wanted to take a break from questing with a beginner clue. It ended up being a charlie task, so I'll see you in Varrock. Alright, iron dagger. I think that's the one I can actually do. I just need to get smithing up to 15 first, which I can do at the motherload mine uh, repairing the water wheels. Alright, there's 5 smithing. Started off a little slow, but definitely getting faster. And coming in with 10 smithing. And finally done, 15 smithing. Let's go make that dagger. Alright, there's the dagger smith. Alright, give Charlie the dagger, yada yada yada. Alright, we got a new clue. And it's Hans and Lumbridge, so let's go talk to him. Alright, and clue complete. Let's just go ahead and open the casket up now. So I already had a staff of fire. I uh, didn't have a staff of water, so that's an upgrade. And arrows are always good, so not bad. Alright, so let's go turn in these Laron keys and see if we can get any rune upgrades. Spin to win, as always. Ooh, alright, that's pretty freaking good actually. That's almost the max amount of runes you can get from one of these chests, so I'll take it. And on to the next key. Spin to win, as always. And 567 coal. That'll definitely come in handy later on, but right now it's not too useful. Gonna swap some items again with Soda. I'm giving him 5k PRS because he's actually going to be the main one in our group for rune crafting, and he got me some leather gloves. Alright, so back doing Slayer tasks and got Hill Giants and got my first Crystal Key Half. Alright, beginner clue from a Hill Giant, so let's see if we can complete it. Alright, this should be the last step. And let's see what we get. Aww. Ended up getting a Laron's Key from the Hill Giant task. 
So try and compensate for that beginner clue with a Laurent's chest. And spin to win, of course. Alright, 474 tuna. I'm going to try and save those for tuna potatoes later on. So that's not too bad of a chest. So Soda actually came up with the brilliant idea that we could make cheese using our buckets of milk from larders. So I went to try this out and didn't realize you needed 48 cooking to do that. So definitely not completing a uh, witch's house anytime soon. Alright, so back to questing and I think this time I'm just going to do priest in peril. Alright, there's the dog killed. And the key returned. And this is the last of the PRS. And there's Priest and Peril complete. Went ahead and started Nature Spirit while I was here. Still not sure how we're gonna get the Silver Sickle, but we'll figure that out down the road. Ah, smell that swamp? That's the smell of opportunity. So Canifus unlocks a ton of content, like the Slayer Tower, the Rooftop Agility Course, and Tarn's Lair, and much more. So super excited about unlocking all this. And on that note, I think that's where I'm going to end the episode off. So I'll see you in the summary screen. Alright, so in summary, I gained 110 total levels, going from 310 to 420, with the most significant being getting paired to 43 and unlocking overheads. For our gear, we upgraded pretty much almost everything except the weapon and boot slot, so that was really awesome. As always, if you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you didn't, dislike it and let me know in the comments what I can do to improve. Make sure to check out Soda's channel, his link will be in the description, and if you want to talk to Soda and I, you can join Scape Slayer in-game, or you can join our Discord, which the link will also be in the description. With all that being said, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next episode.